Friends, welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Stay tuned for the River Report number six. Hey guys, you all know that we got absolutely pounded with rain on Thursday night. And while of course rain always, rain always muddies up the river a little bit. Friends, what that rain did for us is that rain kicked up the water temps by five or six degrees. We now have surface water temp readings anywhere from the mid to the upper 40s, depending on where you're at in the river. And it's not even April yet. I did get out yesterday and we got into a nice pile of fish, but we had to work for them. There's a lot of fish now in the river, especially small males. There's a ton of small males in the river. Yesterday we actually had quite a few short fish. Ultimately, friends, the fishing's getting better by the week. April is gonna be some fantastic fishing. Hey, but like I've said before, guys, Weekends in April are gonna get crazy. There was a ton of boats on the water yesterday I actually heard guys saying that launched at wind out when they came back in the afternoon They had to wait an hour and a half or two hours to get back put it back on the trailer Hey, so guys remember to be courteous Do your best not to tie up the boat ramps any longer than you have to tie them up Take a little bit of time and be prepared So that you're not that guy at the ramp that's tying up the ramp <laughs> Friends, the fishing on Saturday, March 27th, was pretty decent. I heard and I read a lot of mixed reviews. Some guys really hammered them, some guys kind of struggled. Um, we did not find the fishing to be easy, but we found the fishing to be pretty decent. We had to really work to find our fish and we had to really work to stay on them. But the water had a nice stain to it, not super muddy, and the water had warmed up a lot but it'll get better and better. Friends, many of you know that this week is Holy Week. Holy Week kicks off with Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is a celebration when the Lord Jesus Christ uh, arrived in Jerusalem before he was crucified. There were many people that were anticipating his arrival in Jerusalem, and his arrival was very, very celebrated. But friends, one thing I think it's important to note, 
the majority of the people that were celebrating the Lord's arrival in Jerusalem did not understand the Lord's mission. Many of them believed and hoped that he had come to set up a kingdom on earth. But the Lord was very clear in his teachings that he was actually here to set up God's eternal kingdom, not a kingdom on earth. Friends, with Easter Sunday coming up, I pray that you will find yourself and your family in a good church this Easter Sunday. Make sure that your sins are forgiven. Make sure that you know the Lord Jesus Christ and be a part of his eternal kingdom. Friends, the weather forecast for Easter Sunday is not looking great for fishing. Make sure to be in a good church. The good news is this, the conditions on the river continue to get better and better. With the surface water temps now well into the 40s, fishing will just, fishing will just continue to get better and better. Like every year, water clarity is just going to be hit and miss based on winds and the rain and it's gonna change from day to day. There's a lot more guys getting limits now. The fishing is not easy yet. I know this weekend there were some anglers that were fortunate enough to land on a big school of fish early and hammer out a quick limit. But for most boats this weekend, guys, it took some work to find fish. It took some work to stay on fish. Hey, but the fishing don't have to be easy to be great. Personally, I think there's something to be said for having to work for your fish. I think when we have to work for our fish, it makes us a better angler in the long run. But guys, the fishing is definitely getting better and better by the week. Like I've said now for a couple weeks, April fishing is going to be dynamite. Play the wind, fish the weekdays when you can to avoid the crazy crowds at the ramp. But guys, make sure to get out there and hammer some of these fish. Hey friends, I just want to share with you a quick battery tip. This past weekend, I experienced a dead cranking battery in the middle of the day, which could have left me in a pretty tough spot. I was fortunate I had plenty of trolling motor left and I was able to troll my way to safety where I called my good buddy Roy, who had just pulled his boat out of the river, and he helped me out by bringing me uh, the wrench that I needed to swap my cranking battery over with my electronics battery. So all was fine, it was only a minor inconvenience. Big shout out to my buddy Roy, I appreciate it pal, I owe you one. But hey, I just wanna give you guys a quick tip. Particularly in the spring after a long winter, we need to pay extra attention and be very careful that our, that our boat's batteries, particularly our cranking battery, is in good shape. Now, there are two types of batteries. There are maintenance-free batteries, and there are batteries that you can maintenance. This happens to be a battery that can be maintenance. So you can pop these covers off. And you want to be very careful when you pop these covers off because there's these batteries have acid. By popping off the cover of the battery, you can take a flashlight and check down in each of these holes. Now this battery is only two this battery only has two seasons on it. But I do notice that I am just a little bit short. I do have a little bit of room to top off these batteries. The only thing that you can use to top off these batteries is distilled water. So I'm gonna grab a jug of distilled water and top these off. I'm running more electronics than on any of my boats I've ever ran before. They're pulling two to three times the amount of current as electronics that I've run in the past. So what I recommend if you have the room in your boat, I recommend running an additional battery just for your electronics. When I first bought this boat, I, I installed an additional battery just for my electronics and swapped out my charger to a two-bank charger. So all season long, I keep a second deep cycle battery charged just for my electronics. This battery also serves the dual purpose of 
in the event that I have in the event that my cranking battery dies I can use the second battery to jump to jump start my cranking battery hey thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors God bless tight lines we'll see you guys on the river